Chris Miracle, uh, resident of Hamilton County. I've been recreating on the Whitlacoochee River for 30 years approximately. I'm a riparian owner for 20 years. And, you know, I'm, I've been involved in this process for years. Met with county officials, city of Valdosta officials. You know, we've been talking all these years. Time for talk is done. And I'm glad that there's going to be a new consent order uh, in that uh, <coughs> issue. Um, and I just think there ought to be fines associated with that consent order. Fines for this last spill and including any future spills. Fines that are significant. <coughs> I'd like to also address the communication that these other two people have talked about. We've got several different agencies working on this. DEP, Water Management, District Health Department, and then we've got private contractors as well. The public doesn't know what's going on. There is no system that they can tap into and find out what is going on. I, I went around, started with the health department, and you know several people that I needed to talk to were on vacation over the holidays. Okay, that's great. You know they deserve their vacation. We still need to know the information. Finally, got a hold of somebody at Water Management District who's now been feeding me the test results. It's not their job. They're doing it just because they're trying to help me. We need a system where we can put our name and email address on it and get not notification promptly of spills, of testing results, of advisories, all of that. And along with testing, uh, Senator Monford, I know you said we're done, we're, we're, just, we're done with testing. I don't think so. We need more testing. We need testing on a regular basis and that to, to feed data to that system that I'm talking about so we the public know what's going on at any given moment and we need the funds for it. I've asked you and Mr. Brannon years I've asked you uh, uh, whenever you come to Hamilton County we need funds for testing. Last time I talked to you there uh, last year I asked for uh, not only testing, but I asked for the equipment that Mr. McBray is asking for. There's a lot of people in our county that can't afford it. You know, the, the filtering system. You know, we're done with talk. You know, we need action. And Mr. Chairman, I like your list of asks. It's missing one thing. I had other on there for that reason. Out <laughs> <laughs> of all these years I've been dealing with this, we have not ever had an apology from Georgia or city of Valdosta. Well, <clears throat> we need that. Thank you, sir. If I may, let me respond on the testing issue. I don't, I don't mean to stop testing. What I mean, we don't need any more tests to know we've got a problem. We know we've got a problem. Uh, no, we, we need to continue to test. We've got to develop some kind of communication system to make sure that, that we'll get it there. And I'm confident that, that the three of us here, with our local officials, we can work with DEP. We'll come up with some kind of system so that there is a streamlined way of letting people know that. Uh, the health department has been has been good with us, so I, uh, we'll work with you uh, on that. Because, you know, quite frankly, you know, you look at how do you communicate, well, Everybody doesn't have a computer. You know, we got places in these counties don't even have cell service. I mean, it's just, you know, y'all know, go down the wrong road, you better turn around and go back and talk. Uh, got it. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, Sandy. Hi, uh, I'm Sandy Belladier.